Hello everyone, hope you're all staying healthy and safe. In this video, I'll be showing how to create combo chart in Excel. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see similar videos in future, please consider subscribing to my channel. Here, I have sales data and cost data for a company for different reasons. The first step to create combo chart is to select all data and click on insert and then click on the clustered column chart. Now I have a chart with bar graphs for both sales and cost data. In order to change one of the data to a different type, what I'll do is I'll select one of the data which is cost here and I'll go ahead and right click and change chart type to line by clicking on this. Now we have one bar graph and the other one line graph in the same chart which is our combo chart. If you look at the primary axis we have values but the secondary axis we do not have any values hence what I'll do is I'll select this line chart and then or line graph and then right click and then format data series and I'll go ahead and click on secondary axis now we have values on secondary axis as well however if you look at the values for example the first one the sales value is 9 the cost value is 5 which is higher than 9 in this chart which doesn't look correct it is due to the fact that we have range on primary axis from 0 to 25 and the range in secondary axis is from 0 to 7 hence what we'll do is click on the secondary axis and change the range similar to the primary axis in order to do so I'll go ahead and right select the secondary axis values and right click it and then format axis and I'll go ahead and change the maximum value in bounds to 25 matching the maximum value in primary axis I'll hit enter now the values in both primary and secondary axis is same now if you compare the chart the sales value 9 and cost value 5 which is um, comparatively better than how it was looking earlier now I'll go ahead and add a chart title uh, sales and cost for A B C okay this completes our combo chart there is another um, option two which is more valid for um, data with um, for example we have sales data in numbers and uh, let's see if we have cost data I'll go ahead and change this to 50 percent 40 percent fifty percent thirty percent forty percent and let's do sixty percent so now this will be much more simpler because if you select the data and go to insert and if you click on the recommended charts it automatically gives you 
a chart that is a combo chart with both bar graph and line graph. You'll just have to change the this to different um, values which we can do by clicking format axis and making maximum bound 1 and also changing the number to percentage. Um, so this is another um, way to do it when you have one line as numbers and the other one as percentage. Hope you like this video. Um, if this video helps you, please consider subscribing my channel and also please give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.